Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I created this look for Valentine's, so if you want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and let's get on with the video. First shade I'm dipping into is a Flower Boy, and it's a matte kind of pink peach shade, and I'm placing that into my crease and using that as my transition shade. So I already primed my eyes off camera. I just used my concealer from Tarte, the Shape Tape Concealer. And then I set it with some setting powder. The brush I'm using to blend out this shade is the Luxie 229 Tapered Blending Brush. And it's just a fluffy brush and I'm just blending that out into my crease and a little bit higher so it works as my transition shade. Originally, I was going to use the Carly Bible and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, but when I was filming that video, I was using natural lighting from outside and it just got dark out of nowhere and it just ruined the whole look. So I wanted to redo my look, but I wanted to do more pink and purple. So I gravitated towards this palette this time. I think this palette is so pretty and perfect for Valentine's and I love ColourPop palettes and I actually picked this up at Ulta so if you don't want to order online they do carry it in store and it's so affordable I believe it was only like $12 or $14. Next shade I'm going into is called Side Chick and it's a matte hot pink shade and I'm placing that on my outer corner and into my crease. To pack that shade on and blend it out, I'm using the Luxie 213 Eye Shading Brush. This is a perfect brush to really pack on that shade, and it also is a little fluffy on the sides to blend it out. This shade is very pigmented, but I didn't want it to be such a bright hot pink just yet, so I'm slowly going in and building up that color. These two shades blended together look very pretty. This is actually my first time using this palette. I, use it. I get so much makeup and I really want to try to play around with more and do more looks with different palettes. But this shade is super pretty. I did notice I am having a kickback on the palette, but I'm not having fallout on my face just in case you guys were wondering the type of um, formula for these shadows. I do enjoy using ColourPop palettes. I don't have any trouble really blending out any of their shades. And these two shades so far blended out very nicely. So after I packed on that side chick shade, I went back in with my fluffy brush and I'm just blending those two colors together. Now, I actually forgot to mention the headband I'm wearing is also from ColourPop and I believe it was $6. It's so cute and comfortable. I just used it to pin back my hair. As you can tell, I have such crazy baby hair everywhere. So this tamed most of it. It's really pretty. It's like a satin bow headband and I love it. So off camera, I decided to go in with some concealer and clean up my eyelid just in the first half, just so I can place my next shades. I went a little too low when I was blending those shades, but that's okay. I just went in with a little bit of concealer. After adding that concealer um, and setting it with the setting powder again, I'm just going back in with that flat brush. No extra product, and I'm just blending out the edges so everything looks very blended. So for my eyelid, I'm going to place this down as a base at first, and this is the shade Peacocky. I'm using the Hello Kitty Flat Brush. I don't know the name or number for these. I got these as a gift, so I'm going to use that to pack on that shade. In the pan, it looks like a very pink shimmer, but when I'm applying it with the brush, it comes off very sheer and just glittery, but that's okay. I'm going to use a topper on this. It did take me a while with the brush, so I think next time I would use my finger. Going back in with the Luxie 213 brush and I'm going to take the shade No Egrets and it's a dark plum shade. Well, it looks plum in the palette, but when you place it on your eye, it has more of a purple tint. Very pretty color. This one did have a little bit more kickback in the palette and then I did notice I had a little bit of fallout on my face, but not a big deal. Um, just if you're trying to do this look, then I would do your face after if you're going to use this shade, just in case yours does have a little bit of fallout. And then I went back in with the blending brush to blend everything out. So I was going to keep this all pink, but you can always spice it up for your Valentine's Day look. And I really wanted to add a little bit more color to the look. I thought it was going to be darker, but I actually really like that purple peeking through. And it's so pretty against these pink shades. 
after blending it out um, it kind of looks more of a magenta color now really pretty and i do go back in quite a bit with the fluffy brush just to make sure everything is blended so the next shade i'm going into is called Ani lark it's a very hot pink shade with gold shimmer in it as you can tell i am so shook with how pigmented this shade is i barely tap my brush into that shade i use the same hello kitty brush by the way and i was placing that right in front of that no egrets shade I think this is my favorite shade out of the palette. It's very unique because it's very hot pink, but it also has that gold reflex in it. So pretty. A little bit does go a long way. I do go back and forth between the brushes just to make sure it's a very blended out between all the shades. And then after I'm done packing on that shade, I do go back in later on with that peacocky shade just to bring it out a little bit more since it got lost when I placed that on a lark shade. After blending everything out and how pretty it looks, I was debating on if I wanted to darken that outer corner with um, that No Egrets shade, but I decided not to because I loved how this turned out. By the way, just to let you know, this does have kickback in the palette, and it did have some fallout on my face. It's a very pretty shade. It does blend out very nicely as well. I had no trouble. I'm so happy I chose to include that in this look. All right, so I want to make this eye look pop just a little bit more. I'm going to go in with Cheap Cheap with that same Hello Kitty brush. This is a pressed glitter. It's like that chunky glitter that normally is like a loose glitter, but it's in a pressed form. And in the palette, it looks like a confetti color. Really cool. Um, when you do dig your brush into it, it does move around just to let you know. Um, and it does have fallout on your face because it's that chunky glitter. On the eyelid, it looks so pretty. You have like golds and blues and purple reflex to it. It's a very pretty color to add as an eyeshadow topper. I wanted to let you guys know, I'm not telling you to use these chunky glitter shades. If you choose to use them, be very careful. These type of glitters aren't eye safe. A lot of people do let you know. Um, if you want to use them, you're using them at your own risk and to be very, very careful. They are very pretty, don't get me wrong, but since they're big chunks of glitter, they could hurt your eyes. So they don't recommend to use them on the eyes. I know it's in the palette, but um, if you do tend to use them, just be very, very careful. They are very pretty, like I said, as an eyeshadow topper, but be safe when you're applying that. So the next thing I'm going into is my mascara to coat my lashes and prep them for my falsies. And I'm just using the BH Cosmetic Stellar Lash Mascara. I popped on the Zoe Sweet Cosmetics No Filter Lashes and then for my bottom lash line I went in with the shades Flower Boy and mixed it with Side Chick and I just blended that out with that flat brush. Then I went in with the inner corner highlight and I used Peacocky again and I just used that to brighten up the inner corner. Now after digging my brush into the shade I feel like the color came out better than what it did when I initially tried to pick out this shade. So off camera, I decided to add a little bit of liner. I went in with my sleek makeup liquid liner and added a very small wing just to add a little bit more to this eye. That completes this look for this video, this very affordable, pretty Valentine's Day look. This is just perfect with all of these colors and Valentine's is just around the corner. So this is perfect to create for Valentine's Day. If you guys recreate this look, please tag me. My social media will be listed in my description and I will also be listing that palette just in case you guys want to go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, comment, share, and I will see you guys in my next video.